Assalamu alaikum from the application dot security OS top 10 for API we are going to do broken user authentication lab today so let's get started so coinpay is an online cryptocurrency exchange platform that allows merchant consumers and traders to buy sell and store digital cryptocurrency in this website let's see what happens to it so there was a data breach following a recent cyber attack against a well known isp a group of hacker had published samples of compromised user data on rapid form so an online form website used by cyber criminal to share stolen data so on this url someone has leaked the database of coinpay so let's see press enter and you can see there is a forum in which there is a list of uh, leaked username and passwords over here with an email also so since the uh, the bob eyeball the password dump and identified an email address belonging to coinpay customer alice so he picked bob picked up this uh, this line with Alice username and password since the above email and credential may still be valid Bob attempts to access Alice coinpay account using her leaked credential. So let's move next. So he opened the coinpay and This is the sign-in menu So he copied that from rapid forum the Alice credentials and he stuffed this with the Alice credentials So when he logged in he was presented with this two-factor authentication But Bob was motivated motivated to find a bypass to coins with two-factor authentication so he entered this value 2000 and uh, for checking that how the server respond uh, how what is the http request that we, uh, that is crafted and what would be the http response that i would get back from the server so in the po so this is the post request to this api endpoint for validating this two factor authentication code so let's analyze this request and here there is a json uh, data with the value 2000 that bob has entered into the uh, 2fa field so upon clicking the submit button, Bob's process generate a post request to CoinPay backend API. This passing is a token value this via the code parameter. So let's move next and see what is the response. So in the response, this token valid has been set to false because this was not the right value. Okay. And however, notice that there is no additional parameters or warning messages returned by the server. For example, the maximum number of tries maybe bob can brute force coin pay to fa to guess this token value so this api has no restriction that how many requests we can send to this validate code to verify that is this the right code so we uh, because this is only four digit to fa value so bob thought that he can brute force this so he opened the console he had created a brute force uh, uh, script in python and uh, when he entered he starts sending to this api endpoint different values of code and to see what is right so he extracted this interesting by submitting multiple tokens to coinpay this api remote endpoint using the bobs brute force.py script so it successfully identified a valid token 2047 which he can now use to access alice account so in the 2fa tab here he will add this 2047 and submit so he now has the access to the coin pay of Alice account simply by brute forcing every possible token Bob has successfully managed to bypass coin pay to FA and further managed to access her coin pay account. The attack performed by Bob is called a brute force attack which falls under the broken user authentication category of OWASP top 10 API risk. Broken user authentication refers to the weakness in authentication mechanism and associated application workflows which can include authentication that doesn't follow security design best practices. Authentication susceptible to brute force attack and credential stuffing, lack of access, token validation. So there was no rate limitation on how much uh, token values the API endpoint will test for you. And after how many attempts this will lock the user account or uh, for how many attempts the new session key would be generated, the new 2FA code would be generated. So let's analyze this code what is happening over here the validate code function is used to validate the verification token this is the function on the back end of rest controller if the token is correct the method sets the authentication session if the token is correct this is the authentication session with new session cookie is created and it also responds with a flag indicating that the code is valid or not as we have seen in the http response when we sent 2000 and 2047 and on the basis of this the brute force.py uh, script was created by bob so However, notice that the validate code method does not have any limitations on the amount of possible code entry attempt. There is no limitation over here that how many uh, requests I can send to this API for testing some uh, code against a username or a password. Okay, so let's mitigate this vulnerability and see what is changed to this. So you can see that now there is an additional parameters named as attempts left. So let's analyze this code to see. In this modified code example, we limit the number of tries of verification code entry available for a user. After the third incorrect attempt, the code is updated, preventing the user from brute forcing the correct code value. 
okay after three attempts you can see after three attempts you can set the parameters value over here how many attempts you want to give your client to verify the 2fa value uh, apart from this we can increase the token length from four to eight thereby increasing the time it takes to attempt every possible token combination we can add the progressive delay that after how much time you can request for second testing of uh, is that 2fa is valid or not or we can add the captcha to login registration and two factor authentication format so this was all about broken user authentication uh, jazakumullahu khair